What are we looking at? You know the drill. It's a fair case in as many weeks. Positive ID? Unable to give an ID. The likelihood is we're looking at another prostitute. What about DNA evidence? There's left very little evidence. There's no footprints. There's no fingerprints. There's no semen found on the body either. The rains made things tougher, but a few hairs have been recovered. It'll take time to confirm their origin. I need some time with the body. body before. Have you, well, you? You've probably seen this type of thing before, yeah? Name? Detective Sergeant Peter Doyle, sir. I'll be your new partner on this case. You sure you can handle this case, Doyle? Yes, sir. I, I can assure you. I'm fit for duty. It just took me off guard, that's all. Well, as long as you stay out of my way and do as you're told. This is an important case for me. No fucking it up. Got it? The victim has been identified as a Rosie Waters, mid-twenties, a prostitute local to the Merseyside area. We believe that this incident is linked to two previous incidents during the last two weeks. All right, come on, guys, let's crack this case, yeah? All victims were bound, gagged, and show signs of sexual abuse. All died from fatal puncture wounds to the abdomen. As of yet, we have no credible suspects and little in the way of leads. So what's the plan then, boss? Shut up, Doyle. Parker, I need you to conduct a search of the scene and the surrounding area. Get all the uniform you need on this one. Chris, go through all CCTV footage after midnight from last night. Doyle and I will go visit the next of kin, OK? Let's move quickly on this one. No mistakes. Mrs. Waters, we need to ask you a few questions. Oh, I'll do my best for you. Did you find your granddaughter was behaving strangely recently? Well, to tell you the truth, I really didn't see much of her. Oh, it's horrible. So Take horrible. your time, Mrs. Waters. It could be anything. Did you find that she was inviting strangers over, or did you find that she was missing a lot? Well, she went out most nights, but I couldn't tell you where. Shit! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, let me clean that. No, d no, don't worry, love. I'll get it later. You were saying, Mrs. Waters? I only really saw her a few hours a week. She'd come here to eat and clean her clothes, mainly. Oh, God, I should have shown some more interest. <laughs> Please, Mrs. Waters, there must be more. We need something more to go on. There's a raving lunatic out there, and we need to catch him before he does this again. <laughs> It's awful. Awful, but I don't see there's much else to say. She did leave her phone here last night. She's on it every minute of the day, usually. Bloody things always buzzing and beeping. Drives me half mad. Do you have Rosie's phone here? Yes. I'll just get it for you. What are you playing at? What? You're scaring her. Don't tell them details that aren't relevant. Sorry. Here you go. She left it on the kitchen table last night. Battery's dead. Have you got a charger? I don't. Sorry. Get that charged up and do some digging. Right, you are, boss. I've got an appointment to go to. I trust you can handle things here yourself. No need to worry. Good. Get the bus.
you've got yours. Now where's mine? In my trousers, down there in the pockets. Very trusting for a copper, you. You don't have to leave right now, you know. You can stay here a bit longer. Sorry, but you're not the only loner in this city, you know. A girl's got to make a living. Daisy, it's not safe for you out there. John Rook actually cares about someone other than himself. I'm serious. Just stay out of town for a while. I'll give you some money. Just go visit family or something. What is this? I'm a whore that fucks you. Nothing more and nothing less. I don't need a big, strong man to protect me. I'm fine by myself. I care about you. You don't care about anyone other than yourself and your fucking job. You got, Doyle. Well, I went through that phone, came across a few suspicious text messages from a contact named Adam. Weird stalker type shit, you know what I mean? But it got dark, really dark. So I spent most of last night going around various ladies of the night. Get to and the I... point, Doyle, I'm tired. <sighs> Sorry. Anyway, the same name kept coming up Adam Carving. Apparently, he's been bothering prostitutes for months. So I checked his name out in the system, and we've got one carving with previous for sexual offences. Got an address. Let's bring him in. The day is the 7th of March, 2015. Present in the room is myself, DCI John Rook, my colleague, DS Peter Doyle, and suspect Adam Carving. It took a while. Don't speak until you're spoken to. Where were you on the night of Rosie Waters' murder? I think you know that one, detective. Don't play fucking games with me. Answer the fucking question. Look. If it's a confession you're after, why don't you just say? You better be careful what comes out of your mouth next. No, really. I've been waiting for you boys to catch me. I did it. I killed Rosie Waters and the others. Why? Because they were prostitutes, scum, and even they wouldn't fuck me. So you tied them up and you murdered them? Yeah, but not exactly in that order. First I followed them, waited till they were alone. Then I held them down, tied them up, shut them up and fucked them. I stabbed them in the stomach until it made me come. You're sick! You all right, sir? We've got him. We've got evidence, we've got motive, but most of all, we've got a confession. I thought you'd be happier. Anyone who's read the paper could make a confession like that. You did some good police work, Doyle. Rest up. I can't! I can't do it, Doyle! 
I didn't ask for this. Nobody asks for this. We can make this right. Can we? Janet, how's the leg? What does it look like? Working lace again? Yeah, well, someone's got to, haven't they? <sighs> Do you know, I can't help but think we're missing something here, Janet. You know, I just know it. I might have what you're looking for, boss. Really? What do you got for me, Janet? DNA and the hairs pulled from the Everton maid came back. Yeah? Go on. Belongs to a Patrick Stacey. Previous incidents of indecent exposure, violence, and get this, he's worked with Adam Carving for a few months in a restaurant. You're fucking with me. Oh, come on, Janet. I love you. That's off, you swine. Don't worry, yeah, I'll lock up. Following up on a major lead. The address is 20 Allerton Road. I'm going in alone. I need you to respond immediately. We can get him, John. No, was just a fanatic. Look at this. Shop there, sir. Brain tumor, eh? What were you gonna tell us? Did we get him? Well, uniform did. Bastards. Being hailed as a major success story for Merseyside Police. Are you mentioning me? You? No. The department's still furious with you, John. You should have told them. They've taken me off the investigation. I needed that case. Leading an investigation? In your condition. You fucked up, John. You're never coming away from this. <sighs> right, I'm off. I've got to stand before the chief constable in an hour. Rest up. It'd be good to see you back in your feet again. Doyle. Yeah? We almost got him. Yeah. Yeah, we did. See 